Welcome back. President Biden has coined this 4th of July the Summer of Freedom as the economy reopens and more people plan to gather for barbecues and fireworks for the first time in well over a year. But with just 48 percent of the U.S. population now fully vaccinated against the coronavirus and that Delta variant a growing threat, is it too early to start celebrating? Joining us now is Dr. Lakshman Swamy, ICU physician at Cambridge Health Alliance and Boston Medical Center. Uh, Dr. Swamy, great to see you as always. So we're excited for this 4th of July, very different from what we had last year, of course. But are you concerned that some of these 4th of July gatherings could quickly become super spreader events? Thanks for having me back. You know, on the one hand, uh, Fourth of July is very different than Thanksgiving, than Christmas. You know, people think people are going to be outside a lot. That's uh, already a gigantic benefit. I am worried about the Delta variant and how infectious it is, but I'm also reassured by how great our, vac our vaccines are in protecting against it. So there's both sides of the coin there, I think. Dr. Alexis and I were, were chatting just the other day about this Delta variant and how we're seeing some parts of the United States having larger levels of vaccine hesitancy. Um, and that doctor said that they always imagined that there would be, be these pockets throughout the United States where we might see little outbreaks. Uh, curious to know if you share that same opinion, if you think that we're going to always have it where in one city, in one state, we're going to hear of an outbreak of coronavirus. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I think that that is going to be true as long as there are significant pockets where people aren't vaccinated. You know, in, in Massachusetts and Boston, we have really high vaccination rates, and I haven't seen COVID in the ICU in quite a while. I'm worried that even up there, we're going to start seeing it again, because the truth is that if you're not vaccinated, you're not protected. There's no, there's no other way to say it. So, doctor, then how would you recommend people stay safe um, at gatherings over this weekend and, and also throughout the summer, um, especially those who might be in mixed situations? I know a lot of people who are going to be those who are they're, those who are vaccinated. They're going to be with those who are unvaccinated. What would your recommendation be there? You know, this, this is challenging because there's so much nuance and there's so many interpersonal dynamics that go into this. Um, these are family relationships, close friendships we're talking about. I think it's important for everyone uh, who is vaccinated to really urge their loved ones and friends to get vaccinated. I think that all of these gatherings, if nothing else, are an opportunity to say, hey, this is a big deal. I care about you. I love you. I want you to get vaccinated and be protected, too. That said, I'm also thinking about children. Children who aren't yet vaccinated, aren't yet eligible, are still, you know, at risk here. I, again, like being outside, being outside, I think it's going to be OK. But there's a lot of intimacy that happens, sharing of food, being really close like that. So I, I do worry still about, you know, the virus spreading at these gatherings. I'm not saying we shouldn't be gathering. I'm not saying that um, that we shouldn't be celebrating the things that we have to celebrate. There's a lot we can be proud of, a lot to improve on. but. That doesn't mean that we can't still be better. That doesn't mean we can't still encourage more vaccination and do it safely. So, doctor, we're only about two months away from the start of school, and you were just highlighting some of your concerns for essentially children and, and younger people that have not yet been able to get vaccinated. Do you think that that's going to impact this return to school in the fall? You know, I, I have to say that I, I do think that this fall is a different situation than, say, this spring, because we have this variant that's infectious that's moving around. Now, that being said, I really worry so much less if a huge proportion of parents of school age kids are vaccinated. I think that is a tremendous amount of safety. I don't necessarily think we need to, by any means, think that all the children need to be vaccinated before they're back in school. Uh, I think we have really good data from our school system uh, in Brookline that, that we can do this safely. Um, on the other hand, I think that a lot of this, a lot of our safety relies on adults being vaccinated. We need to get there. We need to keep getting there. So does that mean returning to school safely with masks and social distancing if vaccines are not available to the younger set before the start of school? 
Personally, that's how I feel. I don't think the situation has changed so much that we can avoid that. I think being outdoors is probably a different story. I think it's probably reasonable to relax some of those standards there. But being indoors for kids who aren't vaccinated, um, and especially when we don't have really high rates of vaccination amongst the parents, I think so. I think it's good to keep those measures in place. We're not out of this yet. So, doctor, you know, I've seen anecdotally uh, just more and more folks that have been vaccinated sharing that they actually have contracted coronavirus. Now, of course, we've heard that this Delta variant uh, is more transmissible, more easily transmissible, causes a greater severity of disease. I keep hearing uh, that the vaccines do have a good measure of protection against this variant. Uh, but are there concerns or, or does it make sense to be concerned or worried that perhaps these vaccines that we have right now um, are not strong enough as they should be against the Delta variant and even that mutation, that Delta plus mutation? You know, here's what I would say. I, I think that we have every reason to believe that we're protected if we're vaccinated right now, especially in America. On the other hand, I think there are always unknowns. I think even more concerning is that as long as we don't have global control of the pandemic, we're going to see new variants. And eventually, a variant's probably going to come out that we're not protected against if we don't get control of this. So there is, you know, we can't we can't be reassured about everything and be totally lax, like we're out of this. But on the other hand, the vaccines we have right now, I have a great deal of faith in them. Everything we've seen so far says that they are protecting us. Dr. Lakshman Swamy, thanks so much for your time today and enjoy the holiday weekend. Stay safe.